Oh. Are you videotaping? No. Yes. So about twice a year I come home and May actually makes dinner. So we've got some... Zoodles! Was it zucchini squash? Squash? Both. Squash noodles with some ground turkey and some pasta sauce. Gonna do it up right. Getting in a holiday spirit. Our Christmas tree comes in tonight. I'm gonna start decorating that. So stay tuned for all the holiday festivities. Looking festive AF up in here. So unpacking the Christmas tree, good thing is getting the tree skirt set up, and uh, I'm gonna get unpacked and erected. My poor choice of words. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. This will go home where you can see every couple try to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. So the tree is up, the tree is lit, and we got our star up. And now we got our first ornament up. Whatever you want, baby. Thank you. Oh, our first ornament. And you can thank uh, Nikki B for May's onesie obsession. Good morning, gang. If anyone could please make this sinus infection hurry up and get the hell out of my life, that would be great. So I'm pulling up to Starbucks here, going away from my normal cold brew because I'm feeling like I want something hot, you know, kind of soothes my throat. So I'm going to get my grande triple shot soy skinny peppermint mocha, orange mocha frappuccino. And I learned a fun fact about something that you can order or add onto your order at Starbucks that I did not know was possible. So apparently, I don't know if it's gonna show up here. Go to add-ins. They have protein and fiber powder. What? Since when did Starbucks get protein powder? Long day. My Wednesdays are super long because I got work, go to the gym, and then I got my late class. So my late class goes into about 10.40. So I uh, had a great little kind of hypertrophy workout. Normally would hit deadlifts, but still getting over this sinus infection, so I decided not to overly tax my central nervous system. But uh, I finished up the workout a little bit early, snagged up some Christmas presents for Boo thing, and I got two out of three things that she gave me specifically on her list, <laughs> which kind of always throws me off because I'm all about getting gifts for people that you think they would like or just try to show how well let me in. How well you know the person. But there are definitely a few things that I just know she really wanted because she told me. So, uh, I think I'm going to head upstairs and try one more trick to help with the sinus infection. It's going to be super attractive. The old neti pot. And looky looky. Look who I found. Print. Perched up over here on her, uh, her high throne. Miss Queen Nella. Now, what do you think about Christmas? Yeah? Gotta light that up. What? Goodness! Goodness! Ah, there we go. All right. You need dinner and business. Just kidding. I realize I'm super sweepy. Uh, just pop some NyQuil tablets. Now, for those of you who are prone to sinus infections like myself or just have constant <laughs> allergies or sinusitis, I cannot speak highly enough of the neti pot. It is hands down one of the most weird, interesting, gross experiences you will ever go through. It literally feels like your brain is being flooded, but it clears all that shit out, makes you feel mo better. Feeling mo better is mo better. So I'm gonna hit the sack. May is having a little girls night, secret Santa pajama party. I don't know, girl stuff. But uh, me and Nella gonna hold down the fort. And I'll see you guys tomorrow 
Next clip is gonna be, what am I doing tomorrow? Let's see, tomorrow's Thursday. Ooh, uh, I'm taking a coworker of mine, a rehab specialist, a, uh, our chiropractor by trade. He's a rehab specialist and he has helped me, Max, and a lot of other people uh, with some injuries, some acute inflammation, uh, especially that tennis elbow. So Max and I both had some really bad elbow pain flare up from squat sessions, oddly enough. So they do deep tissue, myofascial release, hands-on, very painful experience actually going through it. But I can say it has cured me of my elbow tendonitis. Uh, and I still see it from time to time when I get a boo-boo. So I'm actually taking him over to District Barbell and helping Peter and Brian out, a couple of the guys, to see if we can't cure what ails them. So stay tuned for rehab and most likely squats. Hello world, back at District Barbell. I'm bringing my coworker, he's not really a friend of mine, like looking at him, I'm just reminded of how stupid his face is. <laughs> Mr. Can I say your name? Uh, Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible. Um, because Mr. Stupid Head was actually already taken. We're here to go help out the Ape Athletics boys. They have some boo-boos. We're gonna go take a look and see what my man can do for him. Okay, bye. All right, so the doc is getting his table all set up. I think we're working on Peter, Brian, and Johnny, but uh, we'll see what goes on. So, all right, so we're not gonna be able to show the exact treatment because it is kind of a trade secret. Uh, their technique and just kind of out of respect of the wishes of that company. So I think what Peter's gonna do, he's gonna record some kind of pre posture, mobility, range of motion with himself and the other guys, do the treatment, and then show you some posts. So I think he's gonna put that up over on the District Barbell channel. So if you wanna see more of that, go check that out. This is turning into a real big hodgepodge video for myself. Uh, I think I started off as a vlog. Then uh, I think I wanna try to shoot for PR and squat, so I don't know if it's gonna do a rebuild, but uh, we'll just post it up anyway and see what happens, all right? So we're gonna get started with the treatment, and I'll see you guys in the gym. You go to a hospital, you didn't have fractures. I probably so should have, like, I just didn't have insurance. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty common. Yeah. Um, all right, so a previous impact injury back in high school. Yeah. Um, so since then, has it always been just like so a little what off what compared to the, the other side? What side are we working on? This one. The right side? Okay. Come back down. Let's do thumbs in front. Bring it all the way up over your head that way. Good. Come back down. Um, let's come across your body this way. Put that. What you're going to do with this non symptomatic side first, go behind your back like you're trying to touch that opposite okay. shoulder blade, okay? Let's face this way so the camera can see it. We're going to go behind your back. There you go. Good. And let's do the right side. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, you definitely see like a significant difference. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Okay. Come back. Our muscle tissue repairs really easily. It's got really good blood supply. It's really elastic. So like when we lift hard with you guys and we, we can barely walk the next day, it's because we have little tears in our muscle tissue. And then our body does what it does best and it just rehabs it and repairs it. And then we're good after like a few days. Now the fascia that's in our system is kind of opposite. It doesn't have great blood supply and it's pretty stiff. So our bodies don't repair it as well. So that's kind of what my, our thumbs are trying to do is to treat the fascial component of whatever's left in there. Um, you see how, I didn't change my pressure at all. Oh. You see how it feels different now? Yeah. But I literally locked my thumb in and didn't change anything. That pain threshold was super high, and then as that tissue loosened up, all of a sudden the pain threshold isn't there anymore. We're in like primary cares. Which... <sighs> Guys and girls, just made the crucial, crucial rookie mistake of going for a PR and not filming. So I wasn't planning on coming here to meet May to work out, but uh, she texted me kind of out of the blue, said so she was going to our gym. I was already at district, ready to go. So uh, I came here, thought I was gonna help her out, but it did not wind up working that way. So I was already into my warm up at district. And then once I got here, pre-workout was hitting, ready to go. <sighs> Hit 315, 335, 350. 
Now I had two of the trainers here spot me for 350. They're on the sides to help lift the bar up if I needed it, but it was so smooth. I am sold on this pre-exhaustion workout technique. So 350 in the books, but I didn't get it on the film, so it didn't happen. Forgive me. <clears throat> All right, so I'm definitely slowly but surely dying. Uh, <coughs> All right, so back home, finished decorating the Christmas tree. We're gonna check it out, because I'm not gonna lie, it looks like pretty cool. It's like cute AF. So got all the ornaments done up. Looking Gucci. So got it all decorated. Starting to rack up some presents, which reminds me I need to wrap up maze. Yeah. Calm down. Now for any of you who watch the YouTubes, y'all know that everybody does exactly the same thing as everybody else, right? So, in the spirit of being a sheep, I don't think it lives up to quite the hype as a lot of people make it out to be. Now I get the fat lard. So in here, I got some sides, looks like some uh, macho peas. Some coleslaw. That's a boo thing's wrap. And because today was leg day, your boy's extra hungry. So I got a chicken breast. And then I also got a wrap. So. Chicken breast. Wrap. Hulk splooge. And uh, coleslaw. So. Nella is going to stalk us while we eat our dinner. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? A little gray beard. So we're gonna down this. Probably gonna wrap up the vlog here. It was kind of a hodgepodge. I wanted to get some lifting footage in, did not. Wound up getting a little bit of the footage from District Barbell and a Rossi rehab treatment. And I really wish I got my squat PR in there, but you know what? This means I'll do it again, probably next week because that 350 was like butter. It was like bye-bye. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, B, you wanna sign off for me? You know my catchphrase. Yeah. What is it, you wanna do it? No. Look how cute she is in her onesie. All right, you stay. You stay classy, play. You said you didn't wanna do it. I don't want to do it. All right, you heard her, you heard her.